Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new project that's in the shop. This is a 1967 Land Rover Series 2A. This came in during the winter months and quite a little bit of rain, so we didn't get a proper walk around. But I figured I'd open up the shipping container and show you a little bit on it. This video will be going into Brad working on the front fenders, getting them all straightened out. They're a little bit banged up. I've got the other one over there as well. Getting there. I like understand where the oh, son of a bitch. I understand where the people are coming. So this is the passenger side or the right side uh, front fender um, had some damage up in this uh, top rear area. Um, it being stamped in aluminum, it likes to get really free uh, as far as the shape and the form with any type of work. Um, so it required a little bit of uh, tough love here, but it's. Uh, pretty darn smooth could do a little bit of fine-tuning but I'm gonna move on to the rest of it and then move on to the rest of the panels um, and then we'll come back and fine-tune later on um, but as you can see I had to drill out the inner structure here it's just right here very easy super simple just drill it out same deal as steel just softer um, but working really nice um, 
different than steel, that's for sure. Um, so like I said, that's the passenger side or the right side fender. Um, this is kind of the rest of the fender, but I would more consider it like an upper apron. Um, but it's got a big, big slight hollow or uh, low here. Don't know what's under the body putty. Under one of them, there's a nice cave and pave from years past, which we will not be doing anywhere. Um, but it, this is a pretty. This is the side that was pretty nice. No damage. No major damage. Um, and then this is the side where it gets fun. Um, really, this isn't too bad. Uh, most of the damage is just right around the edge of this big, horrific looking cave-in. I mean, there's some pretty gnarliness right there, but that's where it looks like something hit it. But we'll get her We'll get her straightened out, not a big deal. Um, that's what we're working on right now. Um, it also has a judo chop out this way on the, on the front of it. Um, transversely on the top this one looks pretty sweet until we dig into underneath the paint but that looks to be just paint no filler so that's kind of what we're working on just heat shrinking shrinking disking and hammer dolly English wheel all the classics four spots with filler on the top of this. Um, I don't know, we can either call it the upper fender or the, the upper apron. Um, four spots where there was filler. There's some nice, nice deepish, hard dents. Over here, it looks like there was some caving and paving going on. Cave and paving there, cave and paving here. Those look like factory uh, inner structure welds. So this is this one's pretty good, um, but we're probably still I'm probably still gonna have to take the inner structure out, so I'll probably have to drill those out, take it off um, from the inside. I'll probably have to take all this out. Well, not that. That's where they are joined. But here, here, here. Probably have to take all that out. Um, just to get all the metal to work with me. Hopefully I won't have to go into, I don't see why I would, taking all these rivets out. We'd have to redo those. That would be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but this doesn't seem to be damaged. This is pretty undamaged. All this up here is pretty slight, but it's right on this. Uh, support. Yeah, this support's bent in or bent down so probably have to take that out repair the support repair the panel and then weld it all back together and we'll move on to the other side which is going to be the really fun one <laughs> 